hey guys please don't kill me for doing this last review on a tripod guys i mean who could resist this look at it like look at it i couldn't resist but tell you guys this thing just made me throw my hat off i love this thing with my heart and soul like this thing is the smartest stuff you ever get for a tripod for an office tripod this thing is really cool guys so this is going to be our review product of today a tripod support and for the first time i actually got something that's got some kind of description on it so yay clap hands me see so some kind of description which is quite cool it's different from the other the other package didn't have anything at all so this is why we're going to review this thing so this is a tripod support and it says yeah that it has got an aluminium alloy material uh, it's flexible and it has got 360 adjustment cloud terrace and light and convenient so just to simply that simplify this for you they're saying this thing is strong and durable it is flexible and you can see 360 including what's in the sky as well as that it's light and it's convenient so the name of their product here is called a tripod support and it says that it's the longest size it is 28 centimeters <sighs> which is okay not bad and then it's shorter size uh, folded is as short as 23 centimeters so that's like a five centimeter difference when it's folded and unfolded okay and then it's weight it's about 123.9 grams it's like 124 uh, grams and then it's product features that's the one that i read 360 degree rotation blah 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 and this is over in mainly the black color and the white color and i'm trying to see where this thing is made probably chinese as well see they didn't write anything from here um, so anyway this guys even the packaging itself you know that it just takes my breath away i love this thing it's really so cool guys i mean this is the smartest tripod that i have not on the market but that i have and i love it it's inexpensive but it does the job quite well so let's go ahead and unpack this anyway guys so we're going to start reviewing this thing here so this thing is a phone cable uh, it's, it's it can it's compatible with all phones but i would not recommend it for anything that is over seven inch uh, screens for this thing otherwise it's gonna break it's plastic as you guys can see and i'm pretty sure that and i'm pretty sure that it has got like still springs in there but yeah it's actually quite nice one of the things that i like about this thing is that you see this part yeah it's it's got this wrap i think so the phone doesn't sleep easily and it actually creates a groove depending on the kind of phone that you're using so if you're using the same phone you're pretty much going to have a consistent groove here yeah, unless you're changing the models of the phone and stuff like that it also the actual favorite part is also the top side has that same grip and it actually gives you that grip full length so it doesn't just give you, you know two wires like the ones that we were ring the last time that just clip here but it's got full grip day and day and so yeah that's one of those things that i like about this clipper now let us um move on okay before i go you see one of the advantages of this is that these two are thick so it means your phone has got so much support and it's better than having two sticks stand here right hmm? now let's move on to this thing now this thing is small and cute and all nice and it looks very neat for an office setup so let's just see one of the things that you see obviously is that it's got three legs and yeah that's one of the fascinating things not fascinating but the obvious thing it's got three legs but one thing that you should know is that this is 20 according to their box they down with the red this is 23 centimeters and so i assume that's from this part to this part that's about 23 centimeters and you can stretch out the legs like this however the legs are extendable as you guys can see it's got like stages on all the three legs right so you can literally you push down this button it's, it's a button kind of thing so you don't just pull it down like this so if you try to push it down like that it doesn't work but you have to press it inside like that you have to press it inside and then you have to slide it downwards now it's got stages that you can do it you can leave it at this stage it won't go up or down it's like a clipper you can leave it there and so it's got how many one two three four stages that you can use this thing and you can do that to all the legs or you can vary the length i guess of the 
with the tripod so yeah that's one of those things that i'm starting to like about this thing mm. and see how it works uh so yeah let's try it so we've now gone through the legs and we've established that it's what stages and you can literally flip them and it also now starts to depend on how creative you are you see you can now you, you can choose how you want to lay it out and then this way it's a bit skewed you know and you want to completely skew it on two sides it's still fine it just depends on your creativity now but no But now, so, but now we want to do it with this part. Yeah, now this part is the most essential part because they say this thing can rotate 360, but I'm not sure if you'd like how it rotates 360. Now we've got this 180 vertical movement, which is okay. I like it. Yep, and I'm sure everyone will like it, that 180 vertical movement. And this part, yeah, this part, yeah, you can use it to make it loose. See, you can see now it's... So you can just throw it up like that, but then when you tighten it up, it's kind of like it's hard to, to move. So that's the 180 movement. I don't have a problem with that, but I have a problem with the 360 now. See, the 360 is not as smooth as you want it, but it's got some kind of, you know, greed on it, some kind of roughness to it. So you, you realize that when you're trying to twist this thing, hey man, focus. Hmm. hey right so when you're trying to to grip uh, to do a 360 uh, the first thing that you probably notice is that it's see it's got grooves even though it's nice that you can fix the thing sometimes you want a smooth 360 and this is not going to give you the smooth 360 however you can still get your 360 but it's not going to be as smooth that's one of those things that i don't like about this thing otherwise as you guys can see this is a very smart little thing yeah and to be honest i really like this young man yeah yes i called it a young man youtube police can come and arrest me for that but anyway that's one of the things i like about this thing and i think this is one of the smartest um tripods you can ever get for your disc especially if you go if you want to vlog on when you're at your workplace or maybe you don't even want to vlog but you actually want to do a conference this is a really cool uh tripod because you can also stand with it put it like this and then actually start vlogging like that and then you can just it's just so portable and it's just so nice and smooth and neat to carry around it's unlike the one that the one we reviewed yesterday because the one that we reviewed yesterday it's legs those legs they've got so many grooves and it does just it just doesn't look cool anymore this thing looks absolutely neat absolutely wonderful for an office setup and this i would recommend for anyone who just wants something very simple uh, something not sophisticated something that would just be on the disc and on the table and probably vlog inside your home so yeah that's what i would recommend someone for with this thing so this is how it actually looks when you've got you know when you're using it with your phone and it doesn't look awfully bad at all see you can you have we still have that movement you can still tighten it up so that you know you can use that bolt to tighten it up and you can adjust how you want it you will see it's all cool like that and really it's it seems okay it seems okay to me it seems quite fine to me you can literally and it still has its balance so yep and so now talking about the 360 turn that i was talking about it's okay it's okay it's okay let's try and right so you've got your 360 and you want to turn see it's it's okay you can turn it can turn it can literally turn the 360 can turn it actually just turns just right and perfectly but sometimes you want it smooth you know you don't want that kind of feeling that you don't want that thing so yeah it's it's a really cool office tripod and i'm sure no one would be embarrassed to have this it's very different from having this little thing yeah let me put back the other one that we reviewed the other day 
So as you guys can see, as you and compare this to that, this one is absolutely little. It's it's very smart. It's very cool. This one is okay, but it looks very. It looks like yeah, it looks like that. And personally, I would take this one when I am just doing my stuff at the study desk. And if I'm going outdoors and I'm probably going to be in a rough terrain, then I'll take this one. But otherwise, both the two of these they are cool. All of them they are quite cool. And I don't see any big problems and big issues with them. And maybe you want to check out the other side. So it's it's pretty much okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's absolutely stunning. And I like them. Both of them. They are something that I think every YouTuber should actually uh, be interested in having and trying to buy for themselves. right? And so we have reviewed these. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching all the three reviews of these three little babies and the next time we're going to be making a video on how to creatively use some of these stuff because they are just not triples, 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 simple triples but they can be very complicated if you use them correctly and they can produce very nice shots if you actually use them correctly too so guys for me thank you i really appreciate the time and don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you have any suggestions anything else that we think you should we should add to this equipment be in mind that this gear is for me because i don't have a, a dslr camera i use my smartphone so this is why i've got these little stands here so yeah for me bye